Coming to America, coming here with something to offer. President Trump calling for a merit-based immigration plan, rewarding immigrants with higher levels of skill and education. So what does a person on the front lines of the border crisis make of this plan? Joining me now, Cochise County, Arizona Sheriff Mark Daniels. Mark, thank you for joining us, Sheriff. So this idea, which, by the way, Canada has had in place something similar for a very long period of time, and it's been a rousing success. What do you make of it? Well, well, first of all, Charles, thanks for having me on the show on this special day as we remember our heroes that paid the ultimate price so you and I can have this discussion. You know, President Trump has offered up many solutions when it comes to border security. And as a sheriff, one of the 31 border sheriffs on the southwest border and during this crisis, and there's no doubt it's a crisis, uh, this is a plan by our president that uh, provides opportunity. It provides merit, which is what we're looking for in an immigration plan. But once again, this is a plan that's being shot down uh, by Congress. Uh, what I don't see is Congress come up to the table and say, let's talk about that plan to our president. So it's frustrating on one hand. It's, it's an opportunity on the other hand for sheriffs and communities that I represent. Uh, once again, I, we're standing by our, our president right. to fix this border crisis. You know, uh, I think it was uh, Kamala Harris uh, who, who suggested that, uh, you know, in America, we, we have this belief that all men and women are created equal. And the same thing should be applied to, to the immigrants that, that come into this country. I mean, do you, do you think you see it that way? Or do you think that maybe if we have a more orderly system, it will stop these dangerous tracks of families, uh, you know, where you have children who are going over from Central America to here? It, it can kind of deter that kind of stuff and, and save a lot of pain and anguish that we've been seeing. Well, and I've said this before, Charles, we need order on the border. Right now, you have the largest crime scene in the country on our southern border. You have fraudulent acts going on every day. When 30% of the children that are crossing this border are, are being sent back to Mexico and then brought back across by the cartels, which is a greed game, uh, just to bring adults in this country, there's no merit behind that. In fact, that's sad. The deaths we're seeing on the border, the diseases on this border that our federal partners, our local law enforcement are addressing, uh, we, we have a serious crisis on this border. I just got back from Washington, D.C. a couple days ago speaking with uh, Secretary Kevin McAleen, and oh, this country's in trouble right now if we don't secure this border. Beyond securing a border, uh, the, the laws, though, seem, seem to go against you dramatically. Even once we have the wall completed, uh, you know, if the laws aren't changed and, and, and people know that all they have to do is get into the country uh, and then get involved in an asylum system where eventually they kind of reset, you know, recede into the shadows of our nation, not having to show up for hearings, then, then that's not going to ever be a true deterrent, will it? No, it's not. Our, our, our message is distorted right now. The message is come here, say these special words of credible fear, and almost, I think it's like 100 percent, is coming in the country. Uh, our border security plan, our programs, our processes are, are, are flawed right now. And it's being exploited uh, by those that want to come in the country for good reasons and for the evil reasons that we're ignoring in this country, the ones that want to come and harm Americans and harm our communities. Uh, that's scary. What I don't see happening is, is Congress stepping up. And this is a big frustration right. by state, right. local, and federal law enforcement to help us. They're not helping us. Well, you know, we know that the overwhelming majority of people that want to come here want part of the American dream, and we don't blame them. That's why we had a million right. people come here legally. Right. We just need to have the ability as a sovereign nation to control our borders, and I don't think that's an unreasonable thing. We also salute you for your service. Thank you very much.